Minus 60 seconds. Engine start box go. Minus 50. Minus 45. Launch enable. Enable. GE, main power off. Main power off. Second stage LH2 secure at flight level. Minus 30. Grain board. Minus 25. Flight lock in. 20 seconds away from liftoff. Minus 15. Center's armed. Rofi ignition. T minus 10. 9, Nine eight, 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 8, 7, seven 6, 5. Four. We have ignition of the main engines. We have liftoff, liftoff of a United Launch Alliance Delta IV heavy rocket carrying DSP-23, the final DSP missile warning satellite for the United States Air Force. Thirty-seven seconds. We are listening to Steve Agat in the telemetry lab calling out the flight data in real time. Right up. Tunnel down to partial thrust mode in the core booster. Now at partial thrust in the core booster, full thrust on the port and the starboard boosters, all looking well. Chamber pressure is continuing to look good. One minute, 10 seconds into the flight. Altitude now 4.4 .4 nautical miles. Traveling at 1,858 feet per second. Downrange 1.1 nautical miles. This is Delta Launch Control. Everything looks nominal. Altitude now climbing to 8.3 nautical miles. And just a few seconds ago, we passed Mach 1. Again, everything appears nominal at this point as the Delta IV Heavy flies out of space. Any ride to pressurize the hydrazine system in the second stage. Pressurization has begun. Events are occurring very much close to the uh, expected time. Two minutes, seven seconds into the flight, 15 nautical miles downrange, 3,677 feet per second, 11.9, uh, correction, 11.8 nautical miles downrange, 17 miles in altitude. Hydrazine tank has been pressurized in the second stage. This is Delta Launch Control. Again, you're hearing the voice of Steve Agat in the telemetry lab calling out the flight milestones. In the partial thrust mode. Now, two minutes, 42 seconds into the flight. Delta IV vehicle now only weighs half at what it did at launch some two minutes, 45 seconds ago. Expending propellant at the rate of about two and a half tons per second. Now approaching three minutes. Chamber pressure is again very solid. Good chamber pressures uh, in the uh, range we expected in the boat, both the uh, port and the starboard booster, and in the core booster in the partial thrust mode. Three minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. About 20 seconds we expect to uh, toggle down to the partial thrust level in the strap on CBCs as the uh, port and starboards uh, will be getting ready to separate. Three minutes, 45 seconds. Standing by for the partial thrust command to the port and starboard boosters. That should be a coming in about five seconds. Partial thrust command has been given, 
and the chamber pressures are beginning to drop. All three boosters now in the partial thrust mode. Standing by. You have port and starboard booster separation. Port and starboard boosters have separated from the core booster. Core booster will be shortly powering up to full thrust mode. It has done that. Good thrust level. This is Delta Launch Control, four minutes, 35 seconds into the DSP-23 mission. The view you see on your screen is an onboard camera. And just a few moments ago, you saw the jettison of the port and starboard CDCs. And in just a few seconds now, we're going to have Miko main engine cutoff. Then we'll see first and second stage separation, followed by second stage ignition and payload fairing jettison. This is Delta Mission Control at L plus five minutes and six seconds Both into the DSP-23 uh, mission. Chill down has begun on the second stage. About five seconds away from uh, going to partial thrust mode on the first stage. Throttle down has begun, dropping in chamber pressures, standing by for main engine cutoff. This is Delta Mission Control. We are looking at the main second engine stage cutoff. engine. And we just had main engine cutoff. Steve Aga just Standing announced by it. For one, two, step. And the NEDS is now deploying. Nozzle is extended in position. EMAs are unlocked. Engine is free to move. And we've increased chamber pressure on the second stage. Second stage is burning. And we're looking at the payload fairing. Looks like we just had payload fairing jettison. Standing by, we've had the fairing jettison.